Hey guys, okay, so I'm back again today to do a favorites video with you guys. Um, this is my monthly favorites, and happy Thanksgiving to you guys. I hope you guys are enjoying the holidays. Um, let's just jump into it really quickly. I have four nail polishes that I really want to show you guys uh, right here. So, first one is, I've been loving this. This is Scarlett O'Hara by Essie. And this is just a really, really beautiful color. I feel like it's so holiday, like, it's so perfect for the holidays, so appropriate. It looks like gift wrapping paper or something. It's just this really pretty shiny red with little flakes on it. It just is Christmas in a bottle, honestly. The second one I've been wearing on my nails, this is Essie's Chocolate Cakes. And I have it on my nails right now. I'm sorry, my heater's going crazy. So I have it with, um, like, a MAC nail polish. Uh, on my middle finger but this is what it looks like and it's just a really pretty brown color and it's just a nice kind of dark chocolate brown I feel like this is kind of a nice interesting a little bit different for the holidays so yep love that this one I've been really liking this is um, OPI get in the espresso lane so just a really pretty dark 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 color just kind of like a gray, brown, almost black. I love this. Um, this is on a silver platter by Essie. And this is such a beautiful sparkle. You could pair this with baby blues to bring it into the uh, winter time. You could pair it with dark blues to, again, bring out like that Christmas snowflake feeling. This looks like just Christmas, not Christmas, but winter in a bottle beautiful in the nail and it brings honestly almost any color into the winter time so i've been loving a lip combination that um i just i don't know i i really love this and i'm just going to show you three products from lips and we're just going to move on this is urban decay's um rush so this is the pencil it's a lip liner i'm going to put one down and it's really pretty it's like a rosy It's a rosy mauve color. <laughs> I love, love, love um, this pencil, and I do love the consistency of Urban Decay pencils. Um, so I do, I love that. And this makes, it has a little bit of a shine, like a sparkle in it, tiny, tiny bit, which makes your lips look fuller. I don't know if I can, it's just so weird, but it really does makes your lips look fuller. So what I put on top of this is Revlon um, Just Bit and Kissable, um, in honey dulce, honey slash dulce, Dul dulce, dulce, what? Okay, this is the Revlon Just Bit and Kissable Balm Stain in the color honey. Um, and I just put that on top. And it gives just the most pretty pink, but very wintry. It's not like um, summery pink. It's definitely more of a mauve -y, really pretty pink. And this has a sheen to it. I'm just gonna swatch it next to it. So this itself has a sheen to it. And then on top of the sparkly, it just makes your lips look huge. I don't know. First of all, it just looks, your lips just look humongous. But it's also a really, really pretty mauve -y color. And it's so appropriate and just kind of nice for the winter time. So I can't live without it is my rose, is my sugar rose fresh lip balm. Um, I have it in the rose color. I like this because it's not um, dark. Honestly, there's you, I can I don't know if you can even see that. There's barely really any color payoff, but it just livens up your lips, especially if you don't have much makeup on. Um, I just throw this in my bag. It moisturizes my lips. It adds a little bit of color without making it look like, whoa, you have bright red lipstick on your face and you have no makeup on. You look crazy kind of look. This is just really great um, all around. Oh, been loving this. Obviously, everyone's been dry in the winter. Like, usually my face is super oily, and I'm just super oily in general, but that sounds gross. But, you know, I don't have problems with dry skin. So, I've been having dry skin, and I've really been loving Burt's Bees Almond Milk Beeswax Hand Cream. And first of all, this packaging is so cute and vintage, like, looking. And it is just adorable it's ten dollars at Ricky's and I love I mean you could see that I've went through a good chunk of it 
I put this on my hands and I focus on the cuticles and I also put it on my elbows and this has the most interesting smell it smells like sweet almonds but not like artificial uh, sweetness because you know Burt's Bees is all natural it's like this really interesting super sweet almondy scent it's so addicting when I first smelled it I was like oh my god this is nothing like I've ever smelled before it's just it smells so good so even if you don't really need a hand cream just smell it I have this and this is just Burt's Bees um, cuticle oil uh, lemon butter cuticle la cuticle cream let's try that again uh, Burt's Bees lemon butter cuticle cream so this smells like lemons it smells really nice it's like a nice faint lemony scent and it's like a waxy material and you just wa rub it on one of your hands and then just put it on your cuticles and usually I like to lock this in with um, my Burt's Bees cream and I've been really loving that talk about is hair and um, the macadamia natural oil deep repair mask and it looks like it's been through hell and back but I just had like a bath bomb on it and um, it's been in my shower so this oh my gosh it really does look like it's been through hell and back oh freak okay so this is what this looks like and I mean I use this every week so you have to put a lot of this on your hair and you put this on after you shampoo it leave it on for five to ten minutes in the shower rinse it off mmm smells nice it smells like I don't even I don't know not really fruity like fragrancy it's nice but I love this for the hair did you see that spit oh my god <laughs> I love this for the hair and <laughs> and it just it's awesome this is just a really great product it works and it doesn't leave your hair greasy or weighs it down it just leaves it nice and moisturized with like a feather light kind of um, consistency to it it's like a mess in here okay so next thing um, is this this is the creme de coco tropical rich conditioner with cuckoo cuckoo nut oil <laughs> I feel like people just like make up these names so they're just like let's see who's gonna say that look like a freaking idiot like cuckoo cuckoo oil what so this smells amazing this is a conditioner <laughs> and I love this stuff it is super moisturizing it smells like bomb.com and um oh okay yeah that's on my nose big chunk of it it smells like coconuts and just like the beach and the sun and I know no it doesn't smell like the beach and the sun it smells like coconuts it smells very tropically this isn't a winter scent but I use this and I don't think I've showed you guys this but I've used this all the time and I really really love this I mean this just smooths out your hair and just leaves it again very um, clean and um, moisturized but not like way down or heavy or as if there's like you know oil or grease in it and I hate that for my hair because my hair is pretty like fine to medium so anything that weighs it down my hair will be able to tell me in a second and this doesn't and I love that and the smell is just awesome mm, okay so this is lifesaver and this is the Kerastase volume active volume volumizing and toning hair toning care for fine hair my hair isn't fine but I mean it's not like it's just medium white girl hair you know so basically this stuff is awesome you put this on after you shampoo you put this on to your scalp and leave it on for two minutes rinse it out uh, put on conditioner at the ends or whatever and just style your hair like usual and this gives a really awesome amount of volume now what I love about this is that you cannot feel anything there's no nasty residue there's no stickiness there's no buildup your hair doesn't feel flaky or as if there's something in there nothing you literally feel nothing when you style your hair but your hair just automatically just looks fuller and um, actually no you don't just put this on your scalp you put this all over your hair so your hair just 
has body to it and honestly you do not feel anything so for my skin I've been using this and let me just tell you I've used every single high-end and low-end cleanser on the planet in Sephora, in CVS, Dwayne Reed, Rite Aid, whatever, everywhere. I've used every... So this is really awesome. This is the Paracone MD Gentle Cleanser. And my mom, like, swears by this whole brand. And I honestly just had enough a few weeks ago. And I was like, oh, I don't know. My, I, I, I used a bar of soap in the summertime. Because literally every cleanser... I just felt like there was nothing... Like, it didn't do anything. Like, Kate Somerville, all this, Clinique, this and that, blah, 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 didn't do anything for my skin. Murad, nothing. It was as if I was just kind of cleansing with whatever. And then when I used, like, Neutrogena, it would just dry up my skin and my skin just felt tight and dry and whatever. So I'm just like, I don't know what to do. These cleansers just don't work. She's like, try this. So she gave me this to try and I'm obsessed with it. I really never knew that cleansers actually did something. I just thought they just, like... I don't know. I didn't know they actually improved your skin. This makes my skin feel like a baby's butt. It literally does. It's so soft. And you guys know that when your skin is soft and clear, your makeup goes on so much better. And you just look overall so much better. So my makeup has been going on super, super well. And my, my face just looks glowing and soft. And I mean, you know, you can't skin pad on skincare because skincare is the number one foundation to everything. You um, yeah, I love this stuff. It just, this is awesome. Awesome. It's made by a dermatologist, and he's a dermatologist slash nutritionist. Just check him out. Um, this is a really, really great product. So, then for foundation, I've been using Drugstore. I've been hearing about this forever. This is the CoverGirl <clears throat> Outlast Stay Fabulous Buff Beige. So I tried this out because it's just been going around everywhere on YouTube and even girls who swore by like higher end products, they're like, oh my god, I love this stuff. So I tried this out and I really like this. And I don't like this alone though. Um, I'm in the color buff beige, did I tell you that? I don't like this alone. I like pairing it up with something. So this is the Garnier BB Cream and I'm obsessed with um, the Garnier Skin Renew Daily Moisture Lotion Anti-Damage and I use this in the summertime. But this, I decided I needed a little bit more coverage for the winter, so I got this, and this is in light medium. This is the Skin Renew Garnier BB Cream. And I put this on kind of as a lotion because it has SPF in there. So I put this on as a lotion, and then I put this on on top. So this kind of adds a little bit of that shine and that oil not oil, but that kind of shiny, dewy glow that I do like. I don't like matte skin. So this adds that. And then this just adds that nice matte layer. So my skin looks a little bit kind of like dewy, tiny, tiny bit dewy. Um, I'm wearing it right now. I don't know if you guys can tell, but my skin looks a little bit glowy. But Jesus. <laughs> but um, it still has that nice kind of matte coverage that stays on all day and this really does stay on all day because it says lasting power of primer, coverage of a concealer and blendability of a foundation in one shine free. So this, I don't recommend this for dry skin. This would suck for dry skin, but yeah. Okay, so um, also loving loving, this is my new all time favorite bronzer. This is uh, Dior, Dior Skin New Tan, and oh Jesus Christ, if you guys buy this stuff, make sure you keep it on your pouch, in your pouch, because I didn't, and I was lazy, and it just got all scratched up. I mean, whatever, I don't care. This is the color, and this is a really beautiful color. Yeah, this doesn't have any sparkle to it, just a nice kind of sheen. It's pretty matte. It definitely has a yellow, goldish undertone. I don't know if you guys could see that. But it definitely has a nice goldish yellow undertone. This is perfect for winter to kind of just brighten up your skin without making you look weird or orange or make your face look as if you have nice brown, huge brown streaks all over it and it doesn't match your skin at all. This is something much better and it just gives you the be most beautiful glow from within um, that I've really ever seen. So I love this more than my Laguna and uh, my NARS Laguna, which I've been really, just been my staple. But this has beat it out, and this is just a really great, great formula. And honestly, I don't know what they have in there, but it looks 
so much better and so much it has so much more dimension than, than it does here in the pan and it really shears out and it's just it's awesome okay so to oh and it also comes with a little brush a little kabuki brush that um it's cute and actually it's, it's pretty good quality so um does anyone else do this put a straw in their coffee it's good it's good shit okay so to set my makeup i've been using two of these and i've been using the laura mercier regular translucent loose setting powder so this is my staple but to give myself kind of a highlight that i feel like my skin just has been looking really dull in the winter you know dull and just not not happening i've been using this and oh yeah um this is laura mercier candlelight and and I've been putting these two together, mixing it on a brush and kind of dusting it on my face to set my makeup. And this has been adding the most beautiful glow from within. So this is what it looks like on my middle finger. This is what it looks like when it's not blended in. So it's kind of a bronzy, tannish, light color. Now when it's blended in, it's right here. When it's blended in, it's just this really pretty kind of nudie, nudie. Just the nice kind of soft dim light and it adds a little something to your skin. You know, I hope you guys enjoyed your Thanksgiving. Have a safe Black Friday. Have a great Cyber Monday. And I will see you all very, very soon. Bye guys.